Welcome back to Let's Play Paladin's Quest, you filthy mongrel member of an inferior race. Sorry, folks, I was trying to get into the spirit of uh, Sasquatch. You know, I thought it was NASCAR country where the racists live, but no, it's Sasquatch country. Um, okay, so the bad news is that I'm goofed up again with the audio on this thing. Um, the good news is this time I set up a save state at the beginning of the video and made sure that uh, everything was captured correctly before I uh, saved anything else, which means I was able to load state. So I am now experiencing all of this for the second time. Go away. If you stay here, you'll make the bed stink like Nasquats, and no Sasquatch person will be able to stand it. Well, f, f you, buddy. I can save your progress now, you stinky, stinky person from Nasquat. I called that one, actually. I was predicting they wouldn't let you sleep in the bed, so I was only, like, I was basically kidding. But, yeah, then it turns out the dude will not even let you... See, am I going to be able to buy weapons? I doubt it. Hey, hey, you want something? You want this sword? Fine, let's test its sharp edge on your body. And he friggin' attacks you! Seriously, what the heck is wrong with these people? Now, you know, I'm a white guy. I'm not really used to this kind of, uh... open, hostile racism, I suppose, but... Are you friends with the traveling missiles outside there? Go back to your friends. Jeez, jerk. These guys don't sell anything I don't already have. But they do offer to sell you magic as opposed to saying like, Oh, you want magic? Are you sure that stinky dumb dumb heads like you can use magic in an escort? But, uh, yeah, so stay away from our... There's treasure in the consecrated ground. So, remember your place, inferior and escort people. Now, the other towns in Sasquatch, this is a running theme that they're mean to you, but they really kind of beat it over the head in this town. It's not quite like that. Would you do some kind of performance? And you're clearly some kind of circus performing freaks. And I already talked to this guy. <clears throat> I sure hope I can live up to the incredible humorousness of the last video. Uh, I don't think they'll sell me items either. You ain't from around here. You look like some kind of city folk. So the only place you can go to around here where people will be nice to you is the circus. <laughs> Hey, from Nascot, aren't you? How nostalgic. Come rest in my tent. He offers his tent to everyone from Nascot. He is a whore. He's a man whore. Hope you recovered. I'm sorry, I'm busy with my practice. I'm a doctor, you know. <laughs> Only we minstrels get special treatment from Sasquatch crew. However, the arm store and Varsus won't sell any arms to us. And there's supposed to be some nice weapons. That's true, in fact. At the end of the game, you can come back here and buy weapons and uh... They're, they are like the best weapons that you can buy in the game are pretty much sold there well that sword by your can be the sword of Kormu by any chance? oh i can't recognize things either <laughs> yes aha that reminds me the helm of Kormu is enshrined in the consecrated ground to the east so i hear i'd like to see the helm of Kormu once before i die horribly because of Sasquatch people if you get it bring it back here okay hey if you happen to go steal uh, an important piece of treasure uh, that doesn't belong to you and is a religious artifact, uh, please bring it by so I can look at it. I am now going to kick out Slayer. Why, you may ask? Because that guy standing over there to the right, goodbye, is, uh, is another mercenary, and we are hiring every mercenary that we need. I'm a knife expert. Want to try hiring me? I'm a master with weapons, and I've got awesome ears and mustache. Yeah, he's a Lobot, so we're going to hire him because we're an equal opportunity employer of Lobots. Even though we think we just fired a Lobot. He's a different kind of Lobot. He's another kind of Stone Cold. Um, what else did I say in the last video that was incredibly amusing and humorous that you would have enjoyed so much? Uh, I mentioned the fact that, yeah, so, okay, we flew here in a dragon, right? We got sneezed or puked out of the dragon... And uh, at that point, we saw the dragon's face, and we talked to the dragon, we climbed on the dragon, we got the sword. But, um, speaking of which, I have to equip that sword. But, we did not, when well, we entered the dragon, <laughs> but we did not enter the mouth, because we saw what the mouth and face looked like um, when it sneezed us out. 
That raises a question, folks. What orifice on that dragon did we use to enter the dragon? How did we climb into that dragon? You know, there's not that many orifices it could have been. Um, and none of them really are that appealing a thought to me. I'm thinking that we climbed up a dragon's butt, folks. But anyway, let's get on with it here. This is the spooky, scary Sasquatch theme. There's more dinosaurs. Extreme, extreme, extreme dinosaurs! And we ran away. From the extreme dinosaurs. Now we're going to the consecrated ground. Consecrated ground is consecrated. It obtains a bumble. A robot bumble. Uh, the thing about bumble is that you use it instead of medicine in your belt slot. And I want to have medicine, so... Ooh, electric something. Electric word, love. Kathy's and beholders. Now, I, I totally get that there's a bunch of those turtle head people who live here, um, trying to fight us. Well, why are they hanging around with these, like, floating monster freaks? At any rate, I, um, I want to kill these chicks because I don't like the turtle head people. They were really, really mean to us. So I'm going to carve them up. Yeah, going to die. Beholder shooting eyeball lasers. I don't remember if there's a boss here or not. I should probably not be fighting generic enemies. I should probably be saving my uh, combat for bosses, but I love that demon whip. Hits multiple enemies. And these girls deserve to be brutally beaten by mercenaries. I wonder if they're natural blondes, these turtle head women. Die. Oh, they confused us. That's nice. Thank you, Kathy, for confusing me. Now, if Wild uses the glow blow, she could shoot our entire party. Luckily, she won't get the chance. If we can just get in one more hit, come on. Darn it. Oh, she only shot Chesney and she barely hurt him. Chesney! Ray Chesney the Avatar! Let's finish this battle off and get on with it. Yes, we have killed the Turtlehead people. You thought that we were a bunch of useless, violent thugs from Nascot, but we've proven you're wrong by killing you. <laughs> I don't think they ever actually accused us of being violent. They basically just said that we stink. They think we stink. Fudge, fudge, lemonade. Never mind. <laughs> Sorry. Can't remember if I did that in the last video or the one that got deleted by my microphone ineptitude. Or oh, maybe I just have a bad cord on this mic. There's long butts. Yes, I am kicking the long butt. Hey, it's Z Masters! These guys are the masters and the rulers of the world. I wonder what the Z-Masters are going to do, other than get shot at. You guys, you realize that you're attacking... What the heck was like a skull appeared on Chesney? I don't understand. Is he the Punisher now? These Z-Masters, a uh, couple things to note. A, they've mastered Z. But more importantly, they, along with everyone else here, are supposedly the security force of the Sacred Shrine. We haven't stolen anything yet. We haven't actually done anything evil yet. They're just attacking us because, I guess, we're not locals. Wild gained a level. Wild doesn't need a level as bad as Slayer does, because Slayer was uh, unceremoniously abandoned in an incredibly hostile territory by us. Because we're jerks. It's more Z-Masters. I don't like the looks of that death head spell they were trying to cast. I... I'm thinking that that might be one of those spells that tends to miss, but when it hits, just kills you in one shot. And I don't really want to deal with that. So, let's recap what we've learned in this video. We are in Sacred Land, and in Sacred Land, everyone attacks you for no reason, which makes you feel a lot less guilty about stealing their sacred artifacts. So when we come back, we're going to steal the sacred artifact. See you then.